the hilum overlay sign. On a chess radiograph, the hilum vessels are seen because the interface of the vessel with the aerated lung at the hilum is tangential to the x-ray beam. And this is the nature of the silhouette sign. A mass at the hilum will obscure the vessels from view if the mass is right up against the vessels. And if a mass is anterior or posterior to the hilum, this will allow the hilum to be seen. And this is the nature of the hilum overlay sign. Here is an anterior mediastinal mass. The right heart border is obscured by this mass lesion. So too is the lower right heart border. If you look through the mass lesion, you can see blood vessels converging on the hilum. And this is the hilum overlay sign. And it means that the mass lesion must be anterior or posterior to the hilum. On the lateral view, the retrosternal airspace is filled in. And also, you've lost the anterior portion of the diaphragm on the right side. The diagnosis in this case was lymphoma. And here is the CT of the same patient. Here is the anterior mediastinal lymph node mass. And the reason why the hilum can be seen is because the vessels are abutting a rated lung. So as the X-ray beam hits the interface you get a sharp margin here. Here is another anterior mediastinal mass. Once again, the left heart border is obscured because this mass lesion sits anteriorly and you can see the hyla vessels through the mass lesion. And on the CT, here is the mass lesion here. And the reason why you can see the hyla vessels is because they are a butting aerated lung. This was thought to be an anterior mediastinal cyst arising from the pericardium. Here is another mediastinal mass, but this time it's a posterior mediastinal mass. You can see the right heart border very clearly, and you can also see blood vessels through the mass lesion. And this makes the mass lesion posterior. This is confirmed on the lateral film. And you can still see the right heart border, but also the border of the lesion as it approaches the mediastinum. The hyla vessels are clearly seen through the mass lesion, making it not a middle mediastinal mass, but either anterior or posterior to the hyla region. And it is nicely demonstrated on this slide here. This is the hilum overlay sign. Blood vessels coursing through. The CT of this patient confirms a posterior mediastinal mass whose epicentre is behind a line which is one centimetre behind the anterior longitudinal line. And this is an intercostal schwannoma. Note the obtuse angles as it arises from the chest wall. Here is the MRI of the same patient nicely showing an intercostal schwannoma. Another posterior mediastinal mass showing the hilar overlay sign, nice demonstration of vessels in the hilum. The right heart border is completely separate from this mass lesion, telling me that it is not anterior, it's not middle, and therefore it must be a posterior mediastinal mass. This was a schwannoma. Here is another nice example of the hilum overlay sign. Here are the vessels, which can be clearly seen through the mass lesion. You can clearly see the right heart border, and therefore this is a posterior mediastinal mass. Note the obtuse angles 
as the mass lesion comes towards the mediastinum. The CT of the same patient shows what looks initially like an intercostal schwannoma, but if you look carefully you can see that it is arising from the neural foramen and it's rather like a dumbbell tumour. Here is yet another example. This is a pulmonary mass because of the acute angle it makes with the mediastinum. And clearly you can see the pulmonary vessels through this mass lesion which are converging on the hilum and I can see the left heart border. Therefore this is a posterior mass lesion and because of the acute angles it's likely to be pulmonary rather than mediastinal in origin. Here is a, a lesion in the lung which is right up against the hilum and therefore obscuring the ability to see the blood vessels. And this is seen very nicely on the chest radiograph where the hilar blood vessels have been obliterated because the mass lesion is right up against the hilar structure. So a mass at the hilum prevents uh, outlining the margins of the hilar vessels. This is the opposite of the hilum overlay sign. So in summary, the hilar vessels are seen on the chest x-ray because air surrounds the vessel margins. This is the very nature of the silhouette sign and is very important in radiology. A mass which is at the hilum, whether it's mediastinal or pulmonary in origin, prevents air outlining the margins of the hilar vessels. But the hilum overlay sign is the basis of understanding whether a mass is anterior or posterior to the hilum because the vessels can be seen through it. This was originally described by Benjamin Felsen in his radiology article in 1950 and I would suggest that you have a look at this for further reading.